Oh, so what movie is this from? <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm all dead. I'm a gross, scary, severed head. Come on, please. Do you know who I am? I'm Miss Teen. Ah! I don't want to see any of them naked. Even though once again I was holding Christine's aunt's tits. Nothing like a family get together. Hey, let's start with at least the minimal level of the hair of the dog. By the way, I spruced up for you guys. Went to bed at 2, got up at 7. Sunday, buddy, Sunday, right? Should have dropped, a, dropped an egg in this. Why don't you put an egg in it, too? You know what I forgot to bring down? This is, where, this is where you really take your life in your own hands. I bought a hot pickle over at the dollar store. They were in bags at the checkout. I was looking for an expiration date. There is no exp expiration date on pickles as long as they're sealed. <sighs> That's what Joey's sister used to tell me. She made them herself. You know what? That's pretty good. Huh? I might recover if I have another one. You know, Eric, you should start saving the aluminum cans. You'd be able to buy more beer. If I turned in my aluminum cans, I probably could buy that phaser. There, there you go. There you go, Eric. You'd have to borrow Mike's garage to store them all. He found me one that looks incredible. Unfortunately, it's too far away. It's in Iowa. Rich Huff, I have a, qu I have a question for you. <laughs> Not Ohio, it's in Iowa. I don't know, he's closer than we are. No, he isn't. Not in Iowa. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I, I have two enclosed trailers. Your truck will haul them. I can borrow the wife's car. So we just have to... We just have you to... Wanna know how to you want to know how to turn a oh, $3,000 motorcycle wait. into a six? Use my truck to go get it in fuel right now. You know what, though, Eric? You know what that bike could cost you? Half of everything you own. Hang on. No, I make it a good news, bad news thing. Hey. Honey, remember how you said I should get rid of the Venture Royal? Uh huh. I got rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> She'd probably ride the Phaser. I, I think. I think she would have really enjoyed using my uh, Maxim X, which was the same motor. The Maxim X was As the, the Phaser. Mm hmm. I see. I see the Maxim X's around every once in a while. Five. Five valve per cylinder inline four seven hundred cc seven hundred and one. I'm say. I'm still pissed off I didn't get that CBX, but I did get a motorhome instead, so I'm kind of kind of keyed up. Nothing against your motorhome, but I'd rather have a fucking CBX. Oh fuck! Hey, Eric, this job, this job is gonna get me a CBX. Here's the. Here's the bike you found for me. It's the right color on the picture you sent me even, Eric. You know what? I've only seen this in this color. There's a black and a, and, one on there. And, I, and there's a, I've also seen a rare yellow. But this is the most common color. Yellow would be kind of cool. You know how awesome this would be sitting next to Vivian? What would you name her? This thing? That one. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Kind of, actually, kind of fighting back a chubby right now. This one has 27, 28,000 miles on it. Yeah, thanks for thanks for shitting yourself. Last night was awesome, by the way. I fucked up though. Yesterday I was in my zombie hunting attire, and uh, I bought a beer specifically to review 
I bought zombie beer, and then I <laughs> zoned out. And I forgot. Well, I put it in that fridge, and I opened up this one and went, "Oh, I got these." Uh... Actually, Eric, uh, you'd only be fifteen hundred off because I guarantee I wouldn't pay full price for that. See, here's the weird thing. Is there's all these ones they call themselves phasers. Oh. Oh, they did make a that's that's a phaser too. They they did make a, a early 2000s. Mm -hmm. uh, up into the early 2000s. That one's 4 grand in Loveland, Texas. Uh Colorado. There's one in Hutchinson, Kansas in blue. That one's been repainted or something. It almost doesn't even look like the right bike if it's not red to me. I just, yeah. I've only, I had only ever seen them in. Uh, here's one. Uh, in here's red. an '86, a black one in Lesseur. It's it's within reach, Eric. It is within reach. It's like Paris Hilton. Is that Paris Hilton? No. Chad. I don't know if you're still watching. I probably lost a, a lot of older friends when the Brew Channel got deleted and nobody knew to follow me to the next channel that got deleted. Uh, but uh, uh, Chad, shit, years ago, gave me this green viridium laser that came with this holster made for an XDM. Well, here's the gun that Jim just gave me and the fit is perfect even they even have like this little like locking system that's made specifically for this setup and it stops short of the optic on it i said i wanted to try carrying a gun that had optics now i can carry a gun that has optics and wazers and the, and the cool thing is there it is okay it's not working out at close range. Speaking of guns, Eric, I've been approved for the uh, for the VNR or VR and E funding for the gunsmith school. Miles, stand here and aim at the aim at the wall. It, it, this is this is the way it turned out. Hey, thank you, by the way, for clearing that. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. This is the way it turned out, just by putting it on there. I figured the I, I figured between where you're aiming right now and three feet in front of you is about where you'd want. So I have to pick a distance somewhere between here and there for where those dots w would intersect. Where do you figure you would most likely encounter someone that you would actually use the optic on? I don't know. That's it. You're asking the wrong so, person. Okay, so my, view, my viewpoint is if you bust in my door, I'm doing this. I'm not even aiming. I'm just I'm lifting the gun and I'm going to squeeze the trigger. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you're literally staring the person in the face. And the, reason, the laser is going to get you close enough. If that laser is placed, well, my Eric is clear. So nobody get pissed off. I'm going to do this. If it's here, then... My thought is that what I like about a laser is they say it's a big deterrent all to itself. Oh yeah. When, when you go... <clears throat> then the camera shuts down. So, I, I am, I'm going to give this a go. Yeah, nice. I mean, granted, technology has really changed because if you saw the last video I did, Jim gave me the new Viridium laser with that 5.7. And you could, right now, I could be hiding it from you behind one finger, let alone this. Mm -hmm. But this guy's a little bit brighter. It's going to run a lot longer because it has a bigger battery in it. And if nothing else, you pistol with some of that thing, it weighs half what the gun does. And then you carry it. You always carry it like this, too. And if someone jumps you, you go, hang on a second. I have to take my protective cover off. my. The only reason I'm leaving this on there right now is because this thing is always on. And if I lay it on the counter, it powers way up. And if you're in the dark, it powers way down. 
They say it's something like 10,000 hours. But so, so what you do is you take that and when it's sitting in the, uh, the ready position, you take that off when it's in a when it's in its 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 yeah. place. I'd always carry it like this, and if I took it off at night, unless it was the bedside gun, then I don't care. I mean, you're talking about a few a, a little time to take it off the damn gun, and six dollars to replace the battery versus your life. Mm -hmm. is, your, is your life worth six bucks? Sometimes I like to think so. <laughs> now what is this? That's mine, but it could be yours if you'd like. No, I just saw you with something purple. Now I was just wondering what you... Was this rum and pineapple juice? Yeah. Have you tried that yet? I have not yet. Uh, this is what I was drinking last night. Oh, I love rum and pineapple juice. Actually, you know what the best thing to get is? At Holiday, they have the pineapple orange juice. And like the half gallon milk, milk uh, boxes. The paper cartons. Mm-hmm. That stuff is the, what, at least if they still have it, it was the best at one time. Well, I made the girls their drinks last night, and I personally had either one of two things. I either had rum and pineapple juice on ice, or I just had rum. Why does it look like she's pooping? She's, she's dropping a deuce, what's that? I'm buying you a present with my first check. It's not another motorcycle. How, how, how come you see a chick dropping a turd and out and that and it reminded you of that? It didn't. It was just. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Mikey stopped over last night. Of oh, course, a, a male at the at the girls' party. More that. nine mil. Uh huh. You take a guess? <laughs> Actually, I think it's probably a uh, hundred rounds. So usually, usually stays in evens. So Eric, is, is anybody who watches your channel an actual gunsmith right now? Uh, Jay. Jay. From Elite Ammunition. Because I'm going to be able to afford to buy myself a piece of machinery, and I want I want some advice on what that Ooh. piece of machinery should be a lathe mill combo it's too bad that time didn't intercept uh, I have a friend named Jason lives down towards the cities that was his job and then the Obama administration happened and then he, he went to work uh, for uh, a friend of his that owns that uh, gun shop if I brought you there I can't remember the name of it it's it's see vocational re V R and E. They said that what I got to do is I actually got to work work for someone for like six months after I complete the stuff. But if it's part time and I'm just doing little stuff for now, then I'm fine. But if I actually take and I can if I get enough people to say, hey, you went through the school, we'll give you a shot. We'll start small. I mean, I was a machinist at one time. I, under, I understand what it takes to do things accurately and do things right. I uh, just Jason decided to get out of it. And he told me he was going to sell everything. And his goal, the last time I talked to him, was hydroponics. He was growing hot peppers to sell. I would like to do aquaponics, personally. Even as just a personal thing. It would take an area about the size of your garage. Maybe a little bigger. And just the big, uh, the big 275 gallon uh, totes with the top cut out, and grow tilapia in it. And you just have them in stages. So you're constantly. What? You want fish? Fish. Uh, so, Jason went to go work for a friend, who I believe this is the story. His parents that were worth a, a stir thing. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be hang stuff hanging in that glass that's right in there. At least there was. If not, there's this, the sanitized tactical knife. Tactical steering device. Um, I believe the story is his parents were worth a gazillion dollars and they passed away and he ended up with all of the money and said, I want to open my own gun store with a range. Mm -hmm. Well, if you, if I had... 
let's let's say that I could knock you out or blind. I, I, have to, I have to knock you out, so you had no idea. You just woke up at this place. Windows are all sealed, so you, I, I don't think there's any windows. I'm getting anyway. raped, aren't I? I'll walk you around, Miles. This is the revolver room. Holy shit, Miles. This is the AR room. Holy shit, Miles. This is the classic uh, 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 gunpowder room and flintlocks and all of that shit. Holy cow, M Miles. This is the hunting rifle room. Jesus God, Miles. This is the pistol pistol five rooms. Holy shit. Come on, let's go down to the ten, st six, six, eight, or ten stall. I want to say it was a ten stall indoor shooting range equivalent to dead on. It might have been an eight stall. And you'd be going, holy crap. And then I go, Miles, let's go out to the parking lot. Where the fuck are we? Are we in a fucking field somewhere? Where is the town? Where are all the people that would be coming to a place like this? Ah, I believe the town has 231 people. And this place would, would rival any Gander Mountain you've ever been at, any Sabella's, any mega place. It was just like the guy went, I want to have my own gun store. And I don't know how he possibly stays in business. It's uh, he about has his parents forty his minutes. His parents' money. It's about forty minutes from Hinkley. Hinkley's that side of thirty-five, and he was that way about about thirty-five minutes. Deep. Maybe you know what? We'll have to take the bikes down there. Uh, it's, if it's still there. Yeah, I, I, I'll see if Jason, if if Jason's, if my number, my phone number so for I'm Jason not, is still. I'm not going to go in and suddenly be, hey, I am like the god of guns. But everybody starts somewhere, right, Eric? Everybody starts somewhere, and my, I my, I have a for my ex it was sucking dick. Someone else's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. Sorry. By the way, I do have a. Do you have snacks? No, no. <sighs> See, I played a little game with this one. There's one of those in here. What? Oh, the tube of terror. Let's go. Neither of these are hot, by the way. Not like you. Not like that. You know what? Fuck. That's pretty good. That's really good. I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. But I thought about it though. I think if you looked careful enough, you could find one of these. I don't even want to touch it because it's more granule. Mm-hmm. God. Mm, so I picked up that skidoo. You did? Mm-hmm. I have a gasket set on its way already. Why do you have this give up on snowing bills? Fuck no. I got a bill of sale that I can use to register this one. Oh, that's good. And this one here is an all fucked up EFI and shit. I miss my snowmobile, and yet I'd probably never buy another one. It does, however, have a bad head gasket in it, because I went and pulled it over. It'll smoke out between the head and the, and the jug. But it's a two-stroke. It's like... I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the base gaskets as long as I have everything that far apart. Pull the cylinder off, clean the base of it, put a new base gasket on each cylinder. That sealed because that's what the problem with my uh, my concrete saw was. I bought it for like 300 bucks. Guys, saw I just had it all gone through, and I'm like, what the fuck do I get the carb off this thing? So I finally, after fighting with it for a while, just slid the whole cylinder off. It was a bear to get started until it got warm. I pull it off, there's no base gasket on the cylinder because it's the cylinder doesn't have a head gasket. It's one piece, it's all machined. Slapped a new base gasket on it and and, and a new compression release valve because 
It's a 90 cc pull start. It's like it just it's, stops. It's, <laughs> it's the it's the K900. So you go ahead and you if no, it jerks your shoulder off. <laughs> oh, it's like oh shit. Oh. Yeah. No, I'd say when it comes to two strokes, I remember uh, I had my Suzuki GT380 road bike, three cylinder. Um, Mike found me that uh, red Yamaha 550 Vision. Yep. And uh, I had never, in the entire time I had owned it, I had never driven that GT380 like I stole it. I did on the way to sell it. And, and, you I, blew, the head and I blew the head gasket. And uh, Jeff, who was the uh, head mechanic at the time, um, it was kind of before we were friends, and they uh, they wanted to take like seven hundred dollars. They they basically wanted to take my bike and make it worth like almost nothing. A thousand dollar bike was turning into a three hundred dollar bike, and I said, "That's nah, okay. Forget about it. Forget about what." No, forget about the whole thing. Me buying that vision. Well, well, well. I go seriously, guys. If the the the, the gasket's what six ninety six dollars and ninety cents. Yeah. Well, there's eight bolts holding the whole. You're gonna spend you're gonna spend a hundred bucks in labor, and parts to redo all the head gaskets. And the, the two strokes like that, they'll spit a head gasket out like nothing. Basically, long story short, is they said, no, 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 fine, we'll keep the original deal. I did have a good time getting there, though. Yeah. Watching the, keeping the tack hovering right at Redline. I would really enjoy going down and getting that, uh, that, <laughs> that, uh, <coughs> what's the other, the phaser with you? You know, Michael really wanted to go, uh, shooting today. Which might? Your brother-in-law? Yeah. And uh, I just honestly, I cannot afford to drive my truck to the shack. I'm wondering if next weekend they're going to have that uh, big tournament with the way the weather is going. It's going to be... It's beautiful right now. We, I could, we could be outside doing this brewery view and you know, I'd, I could do it. I bet you, I could do it in, in the sun like this right now. We could do it in the garage. Hey, Google. What's the temperature right now? In Duluth, it's currently 45 degrees. Yeah. ACP? Or LC? Just kidding. Okay, first comment. Gunwild says, first bitches. And Miles says, go fuck yourself, you gigantic Californian piece of shit. Then Miles says, fistful of first and naked? I, I thought, I know, I, it took two minutes for, for Gunwild to somehow, what does he have? Does he have like a fucking cheat code or something on life? A cheat code? Yeah, his, is his like superpower he can travel back in time two seconds before I fucking comment? Well, he's in California. They are, they are ahead of us. <laughs> and everything, <laughs> so, but, take the, take take everything but fucking freedom! If he's, uh, they're what, two hours? Two hours ahead of us? It shouldn't matter. The internet. I is think. I think that's actually four seconds in real time. Unless you convert to metric, and then it's like six. In theory, wherever wherever YouTube is, which is California, when in theory they'd be it'd be live closest. <laughs> it is literally the speed of fucking light. I know, but it's still the speed of light. I guess I guess Gunwild is just brighter than I am. Well, you're giving him material right now. You might want to. I don't fucking care. What's he gonna do? Pick on me? Uh, then Miles says the Poco, your, and then shit got deleted. I was saying, uh, then 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 you said the Poco. There's been no comments from Poco, but yet he's having a. It looks like no, actually Poco's fucking comment left too. Looks like you're having a. Looks like you're insane, so, and you're po having a. Poco says, "Oh, you're into fisting. I'm not surprised." Yes. And I said, surprise fisting is the best kind, and they both got fucking deleted. Uh, Fuck I, you, YouTube. I did not you delete will let it. Us and your comment, I'm currently, correctly, I apparently still up, even though it uses the same link. See, this was like pink, the other pink. day. The Cobra says, 
You didn't read my comment. I'm going, everybody watches me hit the fucking refresh at the end. No more comments. If I didn't heart it, and it's not here, then I don't have it. Yet, Cobra, still, after, no, good, still, after the, after our conversation, he goes, sends me a screenshot. I still see it. I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't get what fucking game Wolftube plays. Popo? Uh -huh. Miles, you can only see it. YouTube must have hidden it. And Miles says, let's have sex and then uh, and get a hotel room. Okay, I'm just moving on. Out. Personally, I love that Chevy. Would you like to take that for a ride? Or, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Just look at how puffy that front grill is. <laughs> Clyde says third, then then Clyde says whiskey and revolution for all. Then he says Mr. Holster Scott would be proud or a little embarrassed. I don't know, it's Mr. Holster's hat. See Eric My my comments are still up on mine. I can still see mine. I just can't yet, see all of Poco's. Yeah, look, I hearted everything. Yep. And you It's because these motherfuckers are you know what, you'd think these fucking, these liberal ass fucks would be celebrating. Fisting? That's fucking fabulous. Fist? Oh, only if you fist a small child. Because, uh, they're pedals. Of the same sex you are. Yeah, no shit. They're all, they're all for that. Started, started working on my, my little ships. My little ships. So, brought... I bet you. I bet you. It's been uh, six to eight years since some of you guys have seen that. My zombie. He actually always sits right over there. Fuck this, Eric. I got an idea. Is it bona fide? I'm sure Mr. Holster would be much better. This. More proud this is now. a fuck. This is a fucking improvement. This is excellent. Well, I did decide I am not gonna do what I had done. I had the uh, the Trump mask over the zombie. I'd rather see the zombie than the Trump mask. What happened, Eric? I just I just thought about all the work that, like you said, that went into that and there was a YouTube friend and Gunwild probably can remember. I, I, I'm spacing on... He, he, he doesn't do videos or anything anymore and I and, and I, I was telling Miles, I cannot remember, but if this is one of them or not, I think it is not. But the plan was, these were supposed to be shootable targets, and they would bleed. But this was one of the early, early on ones. But he normally, he normally sits over there. I'd, every now and then I get bored and have to redo things around here. Um. Uh, Red Dead, oh no, sorry, Multi-Gun Man was, says whiskey, Redneck says, heck yeah, and uh, Multi-Gun Man says, uh, uh, double heck yeah. It's perfect, Eric. Redneck, greetings captain, you survived, that deserves a beer or two. Or three, or more. And the good news is, everybody got home. Uh, everybody stopped. Uh, everybody stopped drinking at a certain point in time, and another hour or two went by before anybody went home, except for my sister. Um, she stayed, which was what the plan was supposed to be. Gunwild says, Shotgun Shanny, I remember her. Gun Glutton, oh yeah, so do I. Shotgun Shanny. Oh, Shotgun Shanny. Back when, back when I first started my channel and meeting a lot of these people, like, uh, for instance, Gunwild, um, she was a, a girl gun channel, and she made me the holster behind the... Nice. The, and it's got the same chain link that pattern as the gun that she made it for, and that was my Kimber. Hmm? The problem is, is I can't use it because 
it's a liability. We're all gonna die. My uh, front sight always hits it right here. So, I mean, if I was wearing it as a barbecue gun, I mean, obviously, if you pull fast enough, but as you can plainly see, the uh, front sight post is uh, uh, slowly uh, doing damage to the the liner that she mm -hmm. sewed into it. But I thought it was a just a, I thought it was a top-notch job. Mm -hmm. you know, the other thing is, is I do not like a holster that doesn't completely protect your firearm. Like how does she, how did she do some of this shit? Is this like carving? So have you ever seen Leathercraft? This is some top notch shit. They have different little punches. So like this one here, she's probably got two she had two punches. One would uh she'd start here on the end and she'd punch that, then she'd punch that, then she'd punch that, and then she'd alternate the design all the way along. Or it was one that had Oof multiple rows of these so you just keep matching it up to last one so it would match up here she probably took a uh, a tool that had like a u shape in it or a, a slight like a like that and yeah. just trace it along hammering it and then here she had a stippling tool that had uh you know, that pattern in it and went around there and then this was just all drawn out on there and that's how she did it let's say it took some time it it's this is some real craftsmanship, geez. It's too bad. I like to find somebody that's got that scrap cap craftsmanship right now to make me a couple of uh, couple of leather holsters, and uh, I'd like to have pictures of them with a goat, so I don't actually have to pay for them. Personal favorite, uh, salty. Uh, I'm naked. I'm a naked robot killer. Teresius, the good, the bad, and the naked. Mike says, "Cheers, man! Cheers, Mike!" He had a, uh, he did exactly what I asked. He sent me a link to his uh, Tac Pack Plus box unboxing today. Kind of thought that break was kind of cool, but overall, most overall, most of these boxes, I don't care who the company is, are all kind of. I would say their biggest problem right now is, do I think that the latest uh, battle box was uh, garbage? No. I, I thought it was some pretty good stuff. On the other hand, I don't have $170 just to go, here, send me a box of stuff. I hope I need it. I mean, one year of battle box is what I need, is what I would need right now to buy that phaser. One year. Eric, sell the venture. And have I, have I really ever failed you? Don't answer that. Gun glutton. My wife won't wipe me. Should I divorce her? Well, I don't know. That's... Is this like now, or like in the future, or why does she have to if get? It come, if it comes to a point where I have to be wiped, I'm gonna tell you what. There's there's some things that I find to be flaws in my wife, but the things that are not flaws far outweigh them. Eric, I so see you're saying you're getting wiped, or you're not. I'm gonna tell her to put me in a damn veterans home at that point in time. Set a motorcycle channel down in front of you. You can just... How about a, a continuous loop? Because you wouldn't remember anyway. But the last Mecham auction was something like... Uh, I think it was 18 hours straight of motorcycle auctions. They just put that on a loop in front of you. Eric? Eric? We need to do we need to do the movie channel where we do reviews and movies as we're watching them, kind of like the Mystery Science Theory, three, Mystery Science Theory three thousand. But we could also include in there like new TV shows and the Meekum Auto Auction. And Be a lot of masturbating. Yeah. Gun glutton. It's not a family friendly channel. 
Whoa, Whoa what? what? An outfit like that, you better get your sweet stinky buns down to Florida. Sticky buns. My sticky my sweet sticky buns. Mm-hmm. It says stinky. Did you fart a lot? What are you saying? I have a chance. <laughs> oh, damn. Poco, oh Rick, you nailed it. Hector, yeah, Rick plus 100 pounds. Laugh out loud. Asshole. Poco, uh, can you see my comment before this one? Hmm. Smile money. Did the bump stock ban by the ATF get overruled? Yes. Why? Because the ATF did not have the authority. So the Constitution worked. It was. Uh, it will not continue to work if we do not win over the hearts and minds of the masses. My theory is that your violent the theoretic theatrics does not or does not scare politician. It scares the public. They then clamor to have politicians protect them from militant individuals and groups. They can elect people that will uh, appoint Supreme Court justices that will interpret the Constitution differently than you. Kill them all, that's what I say. Poco, oh boy, I won. Okay. This is the part where you Okay, maybe it's maybe it's upcoming. Maybe that got deleted too. Where he told me what he wanted to win. Missing. Spy money. Then again, that does not mean you cannot voice opposition on your channel. I just do not want to see Homeland Security taking you in the custody. Cobra says, don't worry, Spy Money. YouTube would uh, never allow a Homeland Raid video to be seen. So you won't actually see it. That's great. Spamity? Well, uh, how will I know he doesn't even have a backup channel? Spamity? Oh, true. That's not true. I have Mr. 10 millimeter bullet. Uh, Cobra? Uh, hey, uh, let me know if you see my Constitution comment on this vid. I have a feeling it will disappear like similar ones I try to post on other vid. Uh, Smile Money says, no, only see a bottle ship shot from you, so you were foiled again. And then he says, I tried putting an edit in it so that it shows up, but most likely in the held for review folder, I'll try posting it here to, uh, uh good to hear the support the U.S. Constitution, uh, in its entirety. Uh, Amendment 16 is pretty spicy. Thoughts? I uh, obviously will have to get to it, and uh, uh, there is nothing. And I, and by the way, yes, I did check all the possible other options, oh, uh, and there has I have never, never had anything held for review here. Poco, I would keep a Cali CCW. Only problem is a lot of the other states aren't reciprocal. If you live way up north. Uh, you can get an Oregon CCW, then you can, uh, uh, can carry in most states. There are drawbacks, uh, like they, uh, do, uh, monthly background checks, and your information be becomes public, and the, uh, fact that you carry, and what you carry comes up on police computers just from running your plate. That's fucked up. That means they're looking at you as a criminal every time they pull you over, because... You could be carrying a weapon and you could shoot them. Fuck you. Don't act like a dick and you won't have a problem. Uh, Mike says, my carry license is lifetime. Never expire. Here in India. Indiana, sorry. He's in India. Wow. Nice suit. Um, here in Indiana, uh, they uh, passed the constitutional carry law so you don't need a license to carry. They'll try and take that away from you. The downside is, though, like for me, if Minnesota's a constitutional carry, but Wisconsin's not, but a CCW is 
recognize Minnesota CCW is recognized over there, I still have to have something in my bordering states if they reciprocate uh, the laws over here. Poco. Fuck uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh... When you kiss someone and get a little uh, chewed food in your mouth and you know they haven't eaten since last night. Mm. Rich Huff says, cheers all. Cobra says, B as in biscuit, two. B2 is a miss. J Dog is here at work. Where else would he be other than Superior Shooter Squad? Yeah, pretty much. No, um, Superior Guns and Ammo. That's his new best friend. Wade. Say I, hi to Heath for me there, uh, J Dog. Wade says I have uh, several, several bags. Each one has a designated purpose. There is a trauma bag, a truck maintenance, and a weapons bag in my truck. That would be peanut butter and jelly. That would make the most sense. Wade, uh, I get tired of all the never-ending investigations about any punishment for the guilty parties. EMT, congrats, Poco. Matt Davis says... Cheap old gun guy says. Watch your body! Watch your body! Watch your body! McLean says, shirt tucker. Yeah, that's like the first time in about 20 years. Uh huh. Gotta love coveralls. They don't cover everything. McLean. Boring. Uh, bring out the hunk, or I will unsub. He had to work. I guess. I didn't hear from him. McLean, Eric, I will always stand behind you, or sometimes on my knees. Behind you, maybe, upside down, I don't know. Uh, whatever uh, two grown men decide to do to each, each other. Matt Davis says, beers all. Mr. Mark Max says, Eric, you look prepared for all those zombie women tonight. Oh, Auntie, Auntie, Auntie Zsa Zsa. Uh, I think she would have actually taken first place in just about any Halloween costume party, let alone she was, uh, it looked like she actually had maggots crawling out of the uh, head wound because she said she got shot in the head. It was actually, she had glued uh, little pieces of rice. What did you do last night? Zombie ladies night? It was a zombie theme. So the drinks were supposed to be zombie themed. and They're all, dr you they're gotten, all dressed up. You should have gotten yourself some Jägermeister and Rumple Mints and made some dead Nazis. Rumple Mints. Fucking... That's not the worst part of it. It's the it's the Jägermeister. I think I'd rather drink straight Jäg than I've had a I've had a couple of bad incidents on uh, Rumple Mints. Used to used used to always have a bottle of that on hand in the freezer. It's cough syrup in Germany. Give it to the kids. They sleep so they sleep so well. <laughs> comment this is the one that he's going to keep leaving until I get it. Eventually I'll have to try. And that's the scourge saying I got you babe. He's just trying to share.
maybe it's in maybe it's just the letters it stands for I buy you bang I buy you blow it's I G Y B he's just sharing Eric don't don't worry about him he's just sharing oh she was let's check the held for review oh nothing in here Let's go back to I haven't responded to filter. Oh, two people. Wow. Salty saying double bamboo naked club. And Rich Huff saying cheers clubbers. <clears throat> so everybody else is probably watching uh, Woke Bowl. The stupid bowl? Woke Bowl. They'll get down on their knees and and uh, transgender into uh, retards or uh, well, I don't know. I believe even if I wanted to, I could not watch it. I don't watch sports anymore. It's it's all it is is entertainment. How much of it is really just scripted? It's just like our politics. Nobody is electric, elect, 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 elected. They are put in place. It's, Eric, it's the cave. You don't see what's going on. You see a shadow of the reflection of the actions that are actually going on. And you are chained in place and cannot see. And if you were freed, you would not know what truth was if you made it out of the cave. That's what they're hoping for. Don't take either pill. Kill them all. Uh, we have... Oh, yeah, you can see. See see what that says, everybody? No comments found. Okay. Let me hit the ref refresh button. Oh, there's the mentions tab. Uh... No mentions found. Comments. No did, comments did found. Did Hector comment today? Yeah. yeah okay. He left an insult. He said I look just like Rick from uh, Walking Dead. Just a hundred pounds heavier. I have feelings, asshole. Speaking about a hundred pounds heavier, I've lost about ten pounds in the last week. <clears throat> uh -huh. It is fucking cool, though. I was thinking of sticking the dildo in his mouth, but I th that's also that'd be disrespectful to dead zombies. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to leave the, the hat on him or put it back in the Stetson box. I like the hat on him. It fits. <clears throat> Doesn't it? What is like a appropriately sized uh, head? I think you just ate the hot one. Ass kicking. You know what would be really good is if you took just some regular um, honey peanuts and mixed it in with these so it kind of it sweetened them up a bit. I was thinking about dumping these in there. Probably would have made it longer than two o'clock, but I just I I could not stand and I could not get comfortable on the couch. So ended up. You going try to bed. some of this? No, I'm good. It's not bad. Does it taste like a it tastes, it tastes like, like a, a peanut butter liquid peanut butter sandwich. <sighs> the 
I'm not, I'm not sure that sounds good, but... It is! For breakfast this morning, my sister brought me a con con container of uh, ghost pepper jelly. That was pretty good. You know what really sucks, Eric? With the new job working Saturday every uh, every week? If every, we do, every week? Every week for the foreseeable future. At least until noon. So it's six days a week? Six days a week. 55 hours minimum. Now, it could be that we, we get to a point where like, yeah, you don't have to work Saturday because we don't have supplies, we don't have blah, blah, blah. But... Be all right. So, what time you start? Seven a.m. I'm ten minutes from work. Doing tens. Tens. So I get I get off. I don't have an afternoon break until five fifteen. Just like most other big contractors I've worked under. They do their morning break, their lunch, and then they work straight through to the end of the day and take off 15 minutes early. Which I kind of like, but it does put me at a disadvantage because everything I need to do is open during the time I'm at work. But at a certain point in time, I think like every fourth Saturday, I'm just going to say, hey, I need a Saturday to do my shit or do what I need to do. So I can't work every fucking Saturday. Well, if you're if you're working straight through, if you're working straight through the time when any other business is open and then would normally close, it kind of makes it hard to do anything. Anything. I mean, I. I don't mind the work though, at least so far. And all they're having me do is start it basically start at the bottom of whatever tasks they're gonna have me do like I drilled it probably drilled a couple hundred holes in concrete and for doweling in uh, and and uh, tying into the current footings and crash bars down there for the for the bridges and I'm sure in time my form will go okay you're doing form work with me today or you're gonna do form work with them and you're gonna learn how to do that then I'll do that and be like you're gonna be using a vibrator on the concrete or you're gonna be helping to man the concrete blah 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 it's not like a slab though you're basically putting it into a 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four hole to fill the, the forms so plus you only have to you can only pour so much and then usually they take a core sample to have sent it out to be tested well they, they they'll pour the whole thing and I actually know Frank is actually the one when they do the silt they do a slump test of course when they first get there passes a slump test they put it in the form they take X number of cylinders for each truck and then those are cured for three days and 28 days they're they're checked at the three the one is checked at the three day mark and the final one is checked at the 28 day mark and Frank says in this entire project he has not had one fail. Can you imagine that mess? You'd have to break out everything. Yeah, you just, you're fucked. You've got to start over. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I would say precautions. Yeah, I've been dismantling and building shelters so that when they go in to do the, uh, epoxy and uh, rebar into the sides of these things all the holes we drilled are dry and clean I just got done hanging 20 20 doors 21 I have a uh, I'm finishing uh, one tomorrow because um, I had to kind of shift gears so how would it have been? How how would you have felt? As if when you did that house there had been thirteen doors on each floor. 
Wow. I put some hair on that, but the rest of it. I don't no, know. no, no. I like the short hair on that. She she wears that well. Unless you're thinking hairy armpits or something, Eric, or hairy toes. I don't know. I was thinking a big old seventies. Seventies. You know, push. it's like it's like. It looks like she's like hiding like a small arms down there. She's got and a, then it's all fuzzed out. I could go for that. Yeah, that's a personal favorite right there. Mm. Mm-hmm. Teddy Whitey's. Alright, well, I'm uh there was actually a moment, uh not to actually it wouldn't be to make you feel guilty. To make you feel appreciated. The only reason I'm doing this is because this is the first opportunity I've had to do one with Miles for quite a few days. And uh, otherwise, I'm going back to the couch because I don't know what is different about this spine injection over the last one. My last one was like, I didn't, I, I, I first of all, it was the first one. And I was a little freaked out because even my doctor said, you might want to get a ride just in case you don't know how you're going to respond to it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, and I practically, I practically danced out of there. This one, when they check you in, and of course, again, when they ask you these questions, people that are dramatic, on a scale of 1 to 10, where would you put your pain? Well, let me tell you, if you actually ever read that chart, 10 is you just walked in carrying a limb in a bloody bag. That's what 10 supposed to be. Not, yeah, oh you walked God. in. Yeah, yeah, you walked in. So, yeah, <laughs> right over it, and it's still missed. Um, I, uh, I told her, I said, uh, I'm, I'm really kind of hurting today. I'm, I'm a five. She goes, okay. So after the procedure, we were walking out, and she goes, where do you put yourself right now? And I said, I'm between a zero and a one. On, on the first shot? No, the, the Thursdays. Ooh. But you got to keep in mind that I had uh, two different uh, injections uh, to uh, it numbs it. So that they could put the big needle in there. They and, did something then. And when that needle, when, when, that, when that shit wore off, I... Oh my god. If it wasn't all about the money, I'd seriously think about not going to work tomorrow. But it's all about the money. Oh, this sucks. It's over 34 degrees outside. That means my truck's probably back to dripping. <laughs> Shit. Still don't know how I feel about this. Nihap says that his mechanic does one of these after another and has never had a sump leak ever and we've taken two attempts at it now do we uh, do we do attempt number three with the uh the heavy uh washer greg gave me that washer material and i actually cut a washer and don't use any form a gasket mm -mm. and put the thing back together? The problem I think we had is we did not have the tank completely dry in the area we put it in. And so as we went up into there, it caught fuel residue. And once that got into the threads and into the whatever we're using to seal it, it just shit it out. You have to basically... So it needs to be dry. I am going to use a heavy washer. That has never been attempted. And I will use a, a thin layer of form a gasket on both sides. I think we, I think we should use that big one with the big O-ring in it. That's the one I think we should use. Because you only have one fastener to leak and not six or seven. But, but now I have eight holes. That's fine. That's fine. If the O-ring is on the outside of those holes... But what if it's down the middle? Then you're kind of fucked. Then we're getting you a new tank. I still like the idea of a sump more than a draw straw out the top, but I also think that in our haste, uh, me or Sam, that something is holding my uh, float bar because I, I believe it is a quarter of a tank off. Empty is a quarter of a tank. And when I fill it up, it stays, on, it stays in full for an awful long time. Mm-hmm. But I have not had a 
it hasn't died. I haven't had it stumble, tumble, trip. The only problem I have now is that fucking squeaking belt is starting to drive me crazy. And Rob said, get a pump with the pulley already on it and replace it as a whole unit. And probably another serpentine belt at this point in time. But I hate to spend the money until it actually comes off. Mm. So right now all it does is make noise. Toothpaste. Little toothpaste on it. Little toothpaste on the back side of it. The abrasives will cut into the uh, into the pulley and rough it up a bit and make it so that it doesn't squeak. I got really irritated the other day and I shot some uh, shot some uh, the equivalent to like a WD on it. It worked for a bug. Yeah, but then it's One just day. it's like taking brake grease and grease and putting it on the face of your pads. And then putting, well, my, my brakes aren't squeaking anymore. They also aren't working right. This thing was just so fucking loud. <sighs> go in there and pressure wash it. And... So you're saying I need to go to the dollar store and get some Colgate. It's like, I'm, I'm at the equivalent to honing the cylinder. I'm just going to buy you a different tank eventually. Eric? Uh-huh. And buy you a different fucking tank. J Dog phone one, but but nobody really wants to show the uh, that top ring. And if that ring is rusted, that's a no go. That is absolutely a no go. Still stuck in my room. Looks like jizz. That should no. It shouldn't. That this should be a plastic thread on. Oh, the top is a metal. A metal uh, a disc. That is what it should look like, because it's the same deal as my as my that's, truck. I don't think that's what mine was. Mine's recessed. It's got a metal disc with the like f four or six keys in it, and it's riveted on. And then the locking ring that holds that whole assembly on the top goes on and does like a quarter or a half turn. I'm gonna call. Uh I'm gonna call Pure Diesel Power down in uh, down in uh, Marshfield and see what they can do for a tank for you. Well, you know it would be nice to not think that right now it's going drip, drip, drip. <laughs> Fuck. Especially at five five fifty a God gallon. God damn! Why the fuck is diesel so expensive? You know I remember. I remember fucking sub one dollar fuel all year round. You know, everybody used to buy diesels because it was so much cheaper. Yes, not only cheaper, not only cheaper, but you got more mileage per gallon than the fucking gas truck did. You paid more for the truck because it had a diesel engine. But you reap the rewards on the price of diesel. And the mileage, and because you put you put that behind, say, a 4.3 V6. You can't even fucking do it. Here's the other thing, and I don't think any of these guys have, but I have had someone make this comment. Well, you're the dumbass that when fuel prices started going up, bought a diesel. I would like to point out that this truck gets better fuel economy than my half-ton Dodge did. Yeah. Now, let's compare it with... I've already done this. I'm just, I'm just bitching out I loud. honestly think that if it hasn't snowed, you should take your plow off if you can. I don't have anywhere to put it. It's a one time. I either stow it or I carry it. I don't have an option. Well, the, well if you had somewhere to, to, to drop it. If I had a yard and I could just... Yeah, that would be so convenient. And drop it and lock it to the damn fence. Who's going to come up and take it? Yeah, but then that's my parking spot. Where do I park? No, 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 no. You drop it. Okay, so you park, you turn around, you point the truck that way. You drop the plow facing west towards Michelle's garage. When it hasn't snowed, you're not using it. And you get that three, half ton off, or 800 pounds off the front of your truck and get your fuel mileage back. That's the problem. That area is so unlucky. I, I you have take two, you, you take boards and put them down. I have found that if I, do, if I don't <clears throat> stop on a laser leveled piece of ground, I struggle. I just part, part of that is is that that plow goes on and comes off and it doesn't get used and 
and shit doesn't get moved. Plus, as soon, the next time I have it off the truck, I have to replace those latches. We're replacing those latches in the spring. But it can only happen pretty much either on a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday. I mean, if I, if I got, a good, uh, got a good lock set up, I would be willing to leave it over at the spook house. It's too bad they uh, they didn't they didn't rape the wiring out of the dump truck. I could literally just store it on our dump truck. <laughs> the dump truck only has the mount, and the wiring goes from the ca uh, under the hood uh, to the cab. The controller's gone, and they disconnected all of the wiring that was under the hood. Okay, so is all the wiring still under the hood? I think so. I put the plow in the work truck at at the last place. The only thing you would have to do is take your controller out of your truck. What I don't know is that, is that wiring harness the same for does Boss just sell one wiring harness or do they sell a straight blade harness and a V-plow harness? The straight blade par harness will not work with the V-plow but if you have the V-plow I think it's a 12 pin it will work with the straight blade. I wonder if I can just tell by looking at the pin hanging out yeah. in front of the truck. If it looks just like mine. Maybe next Sunday I'll go over there and look, but of course next Sunday. Well, I'm not, gonna, I'm not actually gonna put it on it, but I'm just, just saying that would have been a, a good hiding place. If that if our dump truck wasn't getting used, that would be a good hiding place. But right now I'd put it right by the apple tree and uh, chain it to the apple tree. There you go. But I never know when I'm going to use it. I've had scenarios where I'm like, there's no way I'm going to use this. And on the way home, I'm like, oh, I need this. Now, if it starts staying like this, there's probably little chance that that plow is going to be needed for the next week or even two. Somebody said it's supposed to snow next week, like five inches. Oh, I think I did hear something about that. Okay. Hey, it can be interesting at work. Hit the button. Still nobody. Yeah, it's, I'm. I'm probably gonna have to leave it at the work sites and just, just get a chain because I, I. There's nowhere here. Hypothetically, if we didn't have a fenced-in backyard, I'd leave. I'd just back in the Dale spot, pull straight ahead, leave it in the or backyard. Gates. Gates. Yeah. Maybe I, we need to do gates on the backyard uh, yard this year. Something I've thought about that for a while. Like. You know, I've had scenarios where I I had a deal on a, like a little trailer, and I'm like, I don't have any place to put shit like this. We That's could, why we, it stops me. We could me. do gates easy, Eric. We could do gates easy. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. I do Bill Gates ex-wife easily. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I have to I have to return to a a lazy position. But I do want to say, uh, if any of you guys, I know. Uh, a few of you guys were over in the chat room last night. Uh, Rich, for sure, Rich. Uh, I wasn't paying. Now, don't yell at me because I'm I'm missing somebody. All I know is who they were talking to. I know, I know Rich was in the chat room. I know uh, Clyde was in the chat room. I know David. David was in the chat room. I was not ever in a position to see who was in the chat room. I was at the back of the room trying to be the bartender. You know, let's not forget, when this all started, it was a girl's party. Chris's ex-husband was, well, he was never part of, he was never part of these. That's how this actually started, like 17 years ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Wendy wanted to cheer, wanted to, wanted something fun to do for Christine after her divorce. And that's how these all got started. But it's a no guy event other than we've done the hot seat so ever who was in the hot seat wasn't here they were on video so the, the point was the girls have their space they can sit and unwind they can talk about whatever they want and then we then uh, because of uh, of John and uh, our, our blog radio thing it got turned into a uh, hell yeah um, it got turned into uh, a girls' night plus an hour and a half to two hours for doing her uh, podcast. And uh, um, I basically told Christine when this all started, you know, I can go 
you know, maybe me and Miles go hang out, maybe I go to Tim McDougall's, maybe I just, you know, David Brown's, I mean, wh wherever I went so that they had their stuff, and uh, the girls would thought it, the, all the girls had, had gotten to know me by the, by the time that we did the first party, and I was actually encouraged to be the bar bitch, the bartender, and uh, shit, this year, they are all talking about wanting to do another trip to Vegas. And I was like, "Yeah, you guys can, you guys can uh, do a trip to Vegas." And uh, Wendy and Jen both spun around and said, "No, man, you'd be coming with us." I, I would, I would be going to Vegas on the girls' trip. You know, this would opportunity for you. She's like, "No, we'd, we'd want you, we'd want you to come with us." I'm like, "Okay." So the good news is, I've, I'm obviously, um, Christine has a, a really nice group of, uh, of friends. And, uh, you could be transgender, Eric. I could. I can now transgender and and, and chill with them. Yeah. They've accepted you. <sighs> Either way, they had a they had a really good time, and uh, everybody uh, everybody hung out and made sure nobody was uh, driving drunk, and everybody had to check in when they got home. Which is such a nice Mustang. Are those real? I mean, it's just. <sighs> Doesn't her lower back hurt? Oh my god. Either way. Other way, uh. Hang on. No, no, no. No held for review, no missing messages. Cheers.